Are you considering using an AMD Ryzen stock cooler for your CPU? Think again, especially with the Indian summers right around the corner. Many apne personal rig per experiment kia. I used a 10 year old thermal paste on my CPU. Don't try this on your own PC, please. Kyoki CPU temperatures were really high. Isi baat par, please like and subscribe mere PC ke liye. Kyoki bichare ne bohat high temperatures endure kare hai in the name of science and making this video. Hello and welcome to Chipsets and Frames. Thank you for tuning in. Many ek video banai thi a little while ago, just may I used a 10 year old thermal paste on my Ryzen 5 5600 and uske baad se I've been monitoring the temperatures. January, February, March, April, abhi tak I monitor temperatures when I render a video or play games or run Cinebench R23. You should view that video after this one to know more. Ab recently, I have cleaned the paste for 10 years clean because that was a really budget paste. Uske stats bhi achhe nahi the. It had like 1 or 2 watt per meter Kelvin thermal conductivity because I thought that maybe the thermal paste is to blame. Maine fir use kiya cooler master ka master gel regular with a thermal conductivity of 5 watt per meter Kelvin. Mujhe laga ki shayad thermal paste ka issue hai. Toh 10 saal purana upar se thermal conductivity bhi kam. And guess what? What? AMD Ryzen stock coolers are not designed to handle the heat generated by modern CPUs. That's it. That's the TLDR version. For those of you who want to know more, keep watching. AMD stock coolers ke teen offerings hain. Wraith Stealth, Wraith Spire and Wraith Prism. Ab screen par teeno dekh sakte ho. Wraith Stealth is a budget offering. Then comes the Wraith Spire and then the Wraith Prism. Ab inke differences dekh lete hain aur ye jante hain ki kyun AMD Wraith coolers bilkul bakwas hain. Wraith Stealth or Wraith Spire ko compare kare, to we notice that the Wraith Stealth has a smaller heat sink to absorb the heat with. Wraith Spire on the other hand has a larger heat sink which means more thermal mass plus it also has a copper core jo CPU ke contact mein aata hai. Whereas jo Stealth version hai, it has a normal aluminium base plate or copper is much better at thermal conductivity than aluminium. Plus Wraith Spire mein copper core ke andar vapor chamber bhi hai which helps in even better cooling. These images have been taken from a video by Tech Showdown, RIP mate, rest in peace. Wraith Prism, agar dekhe to it has four heat pipes and direct contact with the CPU, jo ki aur acha thermal performance dega. A problem kya hai? You guys will think ki thik to hai, different cooler types and different performances. Problem ye hai ki AMD has started cheaping out on bundling these CPU coolers with the various Ryzen models. Now if we look at the Ryzen 1000 series, mein, Ryzen 5 chips like the 1600-1500X came bundled with the Wraith Spire. Ryzen 3 chips or some little chips came bundled with the Wraith Stealth like the 1200-1300X, 1400. But in Ryzen 2000 onwards, this pairing has changed completely. Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 3 ki most chips came with Wraith Stealth which is not enough to cool the mid-segment CPUs. Ryzen 2600, 2600, 5600, 5600X, 5600G, here until Ryzen 7 5700G is also paired with Wraith Stealth. Wraith Prism is reserved for Ryzen 7 chips, performance oriented chips like 2700X, 3800X, etc. Wraith Stealth coolers are not enough to cool down mid-segment chips. This can lead to overheating and even permanent damage to your system. Especially with the Indian summers right around the corner. Ambient temperatures will increase and uska natija kya hai ke CPU temperatures will only go up. Here are some temperature readings from my system. Main aise nahi bol raha. I've done full research and full experimentation. Sabse pehle the package and CCD temperatures have already reached 90 degrees during this run of Cinebench. Next agar gaming ki baat kare. I was playing Space Engineers. Thoda physics simulation hai, particle physics hai. Usme the CPU reached 80 degrees easily. And then I did another Cinebench pass after a day or so. Kyoki kabi kabi thermal paste needs time to settle. And is run mein it reached around 91 degrees. Or wo bhi abhi first render pass bhi nahi hua tha. Mujhe pehle stop karna pada to prevent damage to the CPU because it reached an alarmingly high temperature. Cinebench score was also affected considerably. With all of this, I can safely say AMD Ryzen stock coolers are not designed to handle the heat generated by modern CPUs. Instead, 
इन्वेस्ट इन अ हाई क्वालिटी आफ्टर मार्केट कूलर स्पेशली अगर आपके पास थोड़ा डिसेंट परफॉर्मेंस सी पी यू है राइजन फाइव या राइजन सेवन ए पी यू लाइक दी फिफ्टी सेवन हंड्रेड जी वॉट डू गाइज थिंक अबाउट राइजन स्टॉक कूलर्स क्या आपने भी ऐसे टेम्परेचर्स फेस किए हैं अगर हाँ तो क्या किया कूलर अपग्रेड या अंडर वोल्टिंग या थर्मल पेस चेंज कॉमेंट सेक्शन में जरूर बताना लाइक ऑलवेज यूव बिन ऑसम आई वुड लव टू सी यू बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस कम्युनिटी सो डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड आई सी यू द नेक्स्ट वन बाय बाय